June is Spina Bifida and Hydrocephalus Awareness Month, and Troy and Annette Chandler are organizing the fifth annual Troy's Trail Walk. Very, very excited this year. Uh, I can't believe it's been uh, five years already. Uh, the walk started with like maybe a, a dozen people the first year. We had we met one beautiful kid that came out that had the condition. Uh, and here we are like last year. I think we had like 75 people and this year it's really gaining momentum. I think we can see even more this year. It's, uh, it's going to peak at some time, but it's, 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 it's building and it's, uh, it's really nice to see. We've really, uh, we're really proud of it. I think it's just a great cause simply because I have spina bifida. So I'd like to show my support towards that. I just think it's a great cause simply because it shows uh, that we're all unique and we need to stand together. Well, I've had a hydrocephalus right from birth. Um, it's uh, just water on the brain. Um, I've got a uh, shunt that uh, drains the fluid off and uh, uh, it's just to, it's a walk to raise awareness and uh, uh, to be able to get to know people that have the, the disability as well, I guess. And Aaron, um, well, we, we met Aaron through, um, actually I think it was his mother who reached out to us uh, through an email uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, explaining what her son had and uh, so we had a chance to meet with her and um, you know find out uh, you know uh, living with hydrocephalus uh, having a child with hydrocephalus and um, we were excited to get together for the walk and uh, him uh, Aaron and, and uh, his mother would come to the walk and she helped us out last year with registrations and he's just uh, He's a wonderful, a wonderful uh, guy, and he's, you know, beautiful smile. Um, you know, he's he's kind-hearted, and he's uh, he just brings a lot to the table. You know, uh, we we keep in really close contact with him online, actually, and uh, we're we're always uh, chit chatting back and forth about everyday things, and uh, it, you know, just with everyday things in life, and he he really appreciates. Um, you know, family and, and friends and nature and, and uh, you know, uh, and religious background. He's, you know, he's got a wonderful spirit, so he's very positive. To come out to this walk on June 4th, it's, it's, it's really important because uh, they, they say strength is in numbers. Um, and the more people we get out there that are showing support, uh, again, everybody is sharing a common bond when we're out there. So it's, it's, it's a really nice time just to get uh, to get together and to talk with one another, share your experiences. Uh, yes, we're fundraising because that's important too, because the, the association needs that. But most importantly, we're raising awareness and just helping one another deal with just daily struggles because both of these conditions uh, present daily problems. And when people can talk to one another, they just feel so much more comfortable. Troy's Trail Walk is Saturday, June 4th on the Boardwalk in Clerk Park by the Art Gallery of Algoma. They will be taking registrations and donations at 12.30 and the walk will commence at 1 o'clock p.m. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm David Carlasio.